We've all heard these tones before. Your power goes out, you're sitting in the dark, having to listen to the beep, beep, beep of your APC unit. But tonight, I will show you how to deactivate this feature. So that way, you'll never have to listen to those beep, beep, beeps again. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take the battery out. Very simply, depress and slide. The battery is then visible. Turn it down, give it a little shake, and go ahead and pull the leads out. Just give it a little tug. There's nothing there holding it on. So that's step one. Step two, we're going to have to take the screws out. There's four screws. One here, 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 and here. So, using a Phillips screwdriver, go ahead, loosen your screws, and when you're done, just kind of give the case a little rock back and forth. <clears throat> Pay attention to the wires. You can go ahead, fish them out. Now, if you pick up the casing, the screws are still in there, so don't let them dump out, or you're going to get really angry. Trust me, trying to find screws, screw that. Okay, now you have your wires, and you have your PC board. Now, there are some capacitors on here, so if you're going to touch something, be uh, cautious of what you're touching because you'll get zapped and you won't like that too much next we have to identify the Pizal buzzer the source of all the racket I'm going to zoom in here and I'll be back so this is a closer up image of the piezo right here. That's what we're going to be taking off. You'll need a soldering iron and about it. There's two points that need to be desoldered. I would use a low voltage soldering iron and if you're really good you could use the gun that I'm going to use just be careful not to overheat your board it can be destroyed just heating up the element and I'm tapping the, the solder points with the gun. Don't want to leave it in one spot too long, you could damage the board. Okay. I got one side loose, so at this point I'm almost there. Go ahead, and, as I was, put a little bit of pressure on it. You want to try to pull it out right as the points become unsoldered. It's 
wiggling. Just get be patient. People who are not patient while doing this mess it up. Don't be one of those. It's coming. Kind of hard to hold. Yeah, a pair of pliers. That would be a good idea to use instead of your fingers. Or, as I'm going to do, I'm going to take a thousand milligrams of toughen up and just pull my way through it. Just do not leave the gun in one spot too long. Ouch. Oop, there we go. Came loose. Feel suck. I feel stuck. I'm past. As you can see, it's wiggling. I just need to give a little bit of encouragement there we go as you can see it's pulling out just need to get a little more heat So as you can see, one side has come loose. Work it back a little bit, like a like a child's tooth ready to come out. There we go. And Paizo has been removed. Little tiny thing made all that noise. And you can always tell a piezo by the little sp by the hole in the top and a little shiny piece of metal that in there. A little shiny piece of metal houses the crystal that's inside that vibrates to create that tone of beep, beep, beep that we love so much. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, look this over, make sure everything else looks cool, and then I'll batten it up and I'll be back. So I looked at the board and I did create no damage which is always a plus came out here and it came out right here 
sewn direct down from each other. Right there. And on this side, I'll give you the best shot I can. It sat right here. And I pulled the pins out. And as you can see, nothing wrong with the mother, with the uh, with the PC board. So came out nice and clean. Um, just for your record, the the spot where the where the pies out came out is B is in boy, I think. No, it's yeah, B is in boy, Z is in zoo one, B Z one. Or buzzer one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on. Okay, so I put the case back on. Again, when when you do put the back case back on, make sure you don't spill the screws out of your casing. Okay, fit it in there by hand. Make sure the screws all line up. Press down until all the seams meet, and then screw them in. The uh, don't over tighten. There's no need for it. Just a little eh, snug. You'd be ready to go. Now, luckily for me and for everybody else, the battery is color coordinated. So it's as simple as matching up the colors. So red, red's going to go on red, and black's going to go on black. Color blind. There we go. Spreads on red. And there we go. Now nothing really snaps, so just kind of give it a your best tug possible. And that should be good enough. Put that down. Set your battery. In the housing, it's nice and flush. Take your battery compartment and slide it in. You hear a click, then you know you put it on there. As you can see, I have the cord here in my hand. So, pretty much to make sure, hey, you know. Did I destroy it or or whatnot? And you turn it on to find out how it turned out. Do a little, little turn, green light came on. It's flashing. Right about now, when I saw the flash, that's when it would beep. I just plugged in a regular old 12 volt car adapter into it and as you can see I have power so and the light is still on so now you won't get any annoying beeps um, these are great for when the lights go out and you're powering up ham radios or if you want to charge one of these up take it camping with you so you could charge your phone and other people's phones while you're camping and it's very easy to connect to a, a solar panel and the and the and the controller so you can uh, charge this solarly so uh, it's a good little unit you can get batteries for about eighteen dollars and less just remember you pay you know you get what you pay for but now you have an APC that isn't gonna squeal at you when the lights go out how are you going to know when to change the battery well you're gonna know when to turn change the battery when the lights flicker because of a storm and the um, and the UPS isn't going to beep at you anymore. So you just kind of got to pay attention. 
what I would do is uh, the battery that's in here is not brand new I've ordered one but when I get one I'm gonna write it down on my device of when I installed it and ultimately you should be checking your battery every three to five years most likely every four to five years you're going to have to replace the battery so it's one of those you got a couple extra bucks and it's almost time to change the battery anyway just bite the bullet buy a battery and slide it in